I'm about to go over specifically how to get better at objections. Okay, one of the first things you have to do is realize that what is the number one rule of sales? What is the number one rule? Even if you guys have heard a little bit of this before, it doesn't matter. You need a refresher, right? Which is why you're on. Okay, Jesse, thank you for joining. The number one rule of sales, right? What is it? What is it? It's two. Did some of you guess it correctly? It's to agree. The number one rule of sales is to agree. 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 Most people aren't agree aren't in agreement enough. It's natural to be combative, to be disagreeable, to be negative, to get angry when someone does, when when someone gives you an objection, right? The number one rule of sales is to always agree. So I trained the State Farm team the other day to when someone says, "Ooh, I don't like talking about life insurance," I'm with you. I don't like talking about either. However, because of everything going on in the world right now, we are getting more people attempt to qualify for life insurance right now than we've ever seen. So because of the high demand and because everyone else is doing it too, I naturally assumed that even though we don't want to talk about it, we should. And I'm assuming you have some type of coverage somewhere. Right? Textbook. Textbook, it follows what, what I'm about to share with you, which is the three-step process to overcome any objection. Okay, agree with them. Right? Dude, I don't like you. I understand. Most people don't until they get to know me. You know, I'm pretty hardcore and I apologize for that. But while I got you on the phone, let me ask you this. Textbook. And the thing is, a lot of people watching right now can do what I'm talking about right now. You can do what I'm doing. When you hear something, all right, Carla, thank you for joining. When you are hearing this, you can do it too. It isn't rocket science. But most people don't actually prepare and train hard enough to really get good at it. I used to be really bad at objections. I'm also going to give you a secret at the end in about 27 minutes on, on, on why I was actually better at it than most people and why I'm ridiculous at it today on overcoming objections and closing. OK. Chesty, thank you for joining. OK, I'm going to go. I'm going to go over that secret and it's unflipping believable. Also, the recordings of this, of all these webinars are in the membership. If you didn't know it and you're trying to reference it and you're trying to go back and watch it, you can't. You got to go in. You got to be in the membership to get access to all these recordings. OK. So what does that look like for you when you're hearing these objections? What are you thinking when you're hearing these objections? What's your number one go to when you're hearing these objections? What what comes to mind when someone gives you an objection? They're like, hey, I'm not interested. Are you pausing? Are you hesitating? Are you not know what to do or I know what to say? Are you thinking, oh, crap, or are you prepared? I'm hoping it, it ain't pausing and, 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 and not knowing what to do or what to say, right? I'm hoping that you're using some confidence because here, here's, the, here's the three-step process that I use and that I train to overcome objections. First step, agree. How do you agree with what they're saying, right? I don't need life insurance. Saying everyone needs life insurance is disagreeable. It's true, but it's disagreeable, right? The, well, they're going to be totally turned off at you when you say, well, if they say I don't need it, and you're like, that's stupid. They're not going to buy from you. Right. Like, what's the point? I wouldn't buy from you either if you did that. Like a lot of insurance agents in our industry are trained that when someone says I'm not interested, we're trained to say, well, what do you mean you're interested? You don't have enough information to be interested yet. That's really dumb. But that's how a large majority of the companies actually train their sales force. You were probably trained that way 
back when you first started as an agent. Mark, thank you for joining. You were probably trained that way back when you first got in the business. Get the idea? Always, always, always agree. I'm going to give a bunch of live role play examples later, right? Cody, I don't have time. I'm with you. I don't have time either. They keep me so freaking busy. However, I'll be brief. While I got you on the line, let me ask you a quick question. Boom. Textbook. Okay, agree. Always, always, always agree. I don't care what it is. It doesn't mean you you 100%. It doesn't mean that you're on their side of the fence with whatever they're saying. It means that you under at least are trying to understand where they're coming from. Okay. I'm not saying to change your beliefs, right? Because a lot of, a lot of, a lot of sales trainers out there, I hate this. A lot of sales trainers out there are like, just morph your personality to theirs, you know? And when they say something, uh, just change your beliefs and, 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 and admit that you love what they're saying, right? They say a lot of prospects say a lot of dumb stuff that I don't I don't believe, but I can understand where they're coming from. And if they've got a dull personality, I'm not gonna change my exciting personality to be dull just so that I can morph into this creature that makes sales based on like different personality types, you know? I'm gonna be me. And I'm gonna do my best to sell them. And it won't always work out perfectly. Whiffin, thank you for joining. Appreciate that very much. Okay. So think about that for a second. A lot of people are trained the wrong way. There's a lot of people outside of our industry and inside of our industry that are training people the incorrect way. I learned a lot of this stuff quick. When I made 117 grand in my first eight months, cold calling and cold door knocking. I had to learn a lot of this stuff the hard way. I did. Yeah, was I a natural with a lot of stuff? Sure. Okay. But that doesn't mean that you can't become a natural at something. Like I'm a believer that no matter how awful you think you are, no matter how far away from greatness you are, that you think, no matter how far or how, how difficult it seems, right? I'm a believer that you can get there and end up being great at that topic. I'm sold on it. I know it to be true. I'm confident in it. Okay, agree. I'm going to change this today, actually, because I normally use the other one, right? Acknowledge. Normally, it's answer, right? It's the same. Okay, for telesales, I'm, there's a reason I'm using acknowledge. Okay. Same idea, same thing, same theory. It could be a great answer. That's fine. But really, what you're doing is you're acknowledging that you heard them. You're ignoring without blowing them off. That's what's happening. That's what's happening. You're acknowledging them. I hear you. That's it. Right? That's why this three step process works. Because most people, when they say stuff, or when they vent, or when they're upset, or when they're negative, or when something's going on in their life, it's human nature, again, human nature, to just want to vent, right? So, so like when, when my like when my wife wants to talk, she don't want me to solve the problem. That took me a long time to to get, by the way, like years and i'm still probably don't totally get it right but she don't she she does not want me to solve the problem she just wants me to hear her out most people just want someone to hear them out most people just want someone that has some empathy most people just want someone that cares most like i, I had a i had a comment on a youtube video years ago when i said that you shouldn't ask how are you, you know, and all this stuff. And, and the, the agent's like, every person I ever talk to knows how much I care about them in the first couple seconds. I'm like, yeah, come on, bro. Like, they need to know that you care, but let's get real, right? Let's get real, okay? Acknowledge. Ask. Ask a question. 
finish with a question. Askins, finish with a question. Agree, acknowledge, and ask. Agree, answer, and ask. Just ask. Get in control. That, that's what this comes down to. That's what most that's what most people don't get is the main things with objections is is I need to be agreeable and I need to pivot so that I can get back in control. That's the full psychology to it. I'm giving you these three steps so that you can remember this and it's simple. I don't we're building out a massive university and curriculum right now that will blow people's mind when it's done. But most people don't get, most people don't get that a lot of this stuff is extremely simple. The biggest thing I wanna stress right now is that whatever they're telling you early in the call, they do not mean it. It's made up and you need to get great at ignoring the stupid stuff that people say to start a call, okay? That's the real psychology behind it, is when they say I'm not interested, they don't even know anything yet. Hear me out, I'm not interested. Dude, I hadn't said anything, bro, like come on. I'm broke. Homeless people have money. I didn't do it. We both know they did. They know they did. I can't qualify. They don't know what product you have to offer yet. Right? They don't know anything. I already have coverage. Fan freaking tastic. I prefer that they already have coverage. They believe in it more. Wonderful. I don't make I, I don't make decisions. Right, my wife, my, my daughter handles that. Cool. You're gonna get to talk to your daughter. You know? Uh call me back. Come on. Really? You think they actually want you to call them back? They want you to never call them back again. When they from now on, when you hear, call me back. I want you to hear, never call me again. They're just trying to blow you off. That's it, that's it. That's all that's accomplished right here and right now. That's it, okay? Hey, if you enjoyed this, I got another one you're gonna love. It's right there, click on it, see you in there. You're a new agent, you wanna make 10K your first month, okay? I made just over nine grand my very first month as an insurance agent. I wasn't 10, but I'm gonna tell you exactly what I did to make nine. Who's watching thinking, dude, I'd love to make nine? Well, I'm gonna show you how to do better than I did, specifically how to get in front of people 